What's going on, boys? It's Daily Tactics here, and welcome to a Jedi Temple. That's right, we have about 20,000 Jedi here defending a sacred Jedi Temple against a Sith army of monsters and minions. The Sith army is comprised of these orc beings. They've also got themselves an army of zombies, and there are some trolls as well for the Sith army within some more orc beings over here, and they total about 4 million strong going up against this Jedi Temple. It should be epic. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Meta War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, pressing start right now and the enemies are coming forward and charging the Jedi Temple. The Jedi are getting ready and the defense begins. The Jedi start chopping into them with their laser swords and killing many of these orc warriors. Now I do have to give credit to Dr. J for coming up with this video idea. He said use the Egyptian pyramids as a Jedi temple and surround them with monsters from the quote unquote Sith army. I thought that's a great idea. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So shout out to Dr. J. I have a feeling it's probably not the <laughs> basketball player. Uh, but rather a different Dr. J. Who even knows about his credentials? Perhaps he is not even a real doctor. But what we do know is that he has some baller ideas for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. So big shout out to him. Either way, the Jedi are holding very strong. I'd be surprised if they even have a death. Let's check it out. They do have eight, actually. They have eight deaths. Versus 13,000 dead Sith warriors here so the jedi are holding very very nicely thus far i mean each of them should have like 2000 health right yep they got 2000 health and they can do some big damage here let's get in here ah what's it like zooming in oh look at that you can see your lightsaber this is actually kind of sick we are a lot shorter than these orcs i'm going in there sacrifice sacrifice swing the sword sacrifice oh we're getting a number of kills oh but we died rip we did get a lot of kills though I actually wasn't terrible, but uh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> the Jedi are obviously very powerful though. A hundred deaths already though, wow, okay. So, you know, losses are certainly happening and they are going to continue to happen. How are these guys flying around? Oh, it's the trolls. Ah, the trolls are actually tossing the Jedi around quite a bit here, uh, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, the trolls are going to be uh, quite a problem in this. However, the Jedi should have reach able to to hit the trolls when they come in close and yeah you can see sub jedi are managing to get some swings on these trolls because the jedi i think do have longer reach uh than your normal average warrior so that that's gonna be okay you know unlike when we had like <laughs> the romans fighting against the trolls and they got absolutely squashed because the trolls could reach them from so far away with the jedi i think it's going to be a different story although right now we are looking at about forty thousand dead enemy units and 220 dead Jedi right now. Why don't we go into our first time lapse of the video here. I'm thinking over here where the trolls are because it'll be interesting to see uh, the Jedi going flying. I think this is probably going to be the weakest side of the battlefield for the Jedi since there are so many trolls over here. Uh, but let's, let's just go ahead and check out what happens over here with these trolls coming in. Okay, so it seems like the Jedi actually defeated most of the trolls here now. There's just like one or two out there. There might be some more like further back too, but 
Seems like most of the trolls are dead, which is good. They seem to have sprinted to the front of the line and gotten squashed. Uh, meanwhile, the Jedi on the other side are still holding very, very strong um, against the the evil Sith Orcs that are attacking them, and they're creating quite the body piles here. It'll be interesting to see how high up these go. I also like that there's still Jedi chilling all the way up there. That's pretty sick. Um, so yeah, this side is definitely the worst off right now. I hope that they can hold out for a bit longer. Uh, but the other side is holding very, very strong currently, so that is good to see. I think we will continue to do another time lapse over here of these Jedi, um, because these guys are definitely at, at the worst risk, you know? Oh, another troll came in. Uh-oh. Yeah, these guys are definitely doing the worst right now, so this is probably the most interesting area to look at at the moment. All right, so we let that time lapse go for about an hour there, actually, and we are up to 651,000 deaths of the enemy. Look how high they got up here. That's crazy. They're all the way up to the top of the temple now. And then over this way, we additionally have some pretty hot dudes. Right now, we are looking at about 4,000 dead Jedi, so they're, what? A fourth of the way through? Yeah, just about exactly a fourth of the way through since there's 12,000 Jedi remaining. So, oh, it's, it's getting a little spicy here. Getting a little spicy um, because both sides are just about a fourth of the way through uh, their units. However, I don't think there are too many trolls left. Um, I think most of them died. I don't really see any. Maybe there's like one or two sneaking around in here. Who knows? Uh, but I think for the most part they died and now it's just going to be orcs as well as zombies coming on forward here to attack. So why don't we go ahead and just, uh, you know, do another uh, another time lapse here for a little bit. Um, let's do this side this time around and uh, sort of see how, how this goes. That was another about 20 minutes. Not too many more developments happening, just sort of hordes coming forward. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and just let this ride for a couple hours and I'll be back and we'll check out just exactly what's going on and uh, you know how the Jedi are doing versus how the Sith army is doing. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in a few hours and we'll check out how they're doing. All right guys, it's been a couple hours now and it looks like, I mean, the body pile has just shifted, you know? just become more this way uh, and like kind of the same thing over here except it's a little, little bit more pointy a little bit more pointy we've got 6186 dead Jedi and a total of 2.2 million dead Sith warriors so it does look as though the Jedi just in terms of ratio here um, is going to be able to win this thing potentially uh, but you never know, you know, some crazy thing could happen or whatever, and uh, bad juju bees, you know, <laughs> it's it's been known to occur before. So why don't we go ahead and do another time lapse here, um, and and watch some of the the fighting take place and, and see if some craziness happens.
I take it that might have been kind of a boring time lapse as it's literally just uh, monster run in, monster get killed, monster run in, monster get killed over and over and over again. Um, so yeah, I think I might just let this run for the next few hours while I go about my day and uh, we'll come back and see who the winner is. I think it's going to be the Jedi. Something makes me think considering the fact that they are dominating. But hey, maybe that's just me. Let's let it ride, boys. Yeah, we have seven evil Sith soldiers somewhere. I have no idea where they're at. Um, they're probably underneath the body piles or something along those lines. The Jedi Knights ended up losing 7,200 soldiers. I think they lost less in the end because the ending was mainly zombies, as you can see from the body pile, which are weaker than the orcs, so I think that was the reasoning for that, but it's still a pretty cool battle. Um, definitely fun to see. Not too much of a challenge for the Jedi, though. I, I think the trolls were a massive challenge, but once they overcame those, it, it really wasn't too big of a deal, so maybe we need to run this again under more strenuous circumstances. Let me know in the comments what you think those should be. Either way, guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.